Radioactivity Measurements from whatisnuclear.com Inside the lead shield rests a high-purity germanium gamma ray detector. To operate, it needs to be cooled by a tank of liquid nitrogen. Signals from the detector travel through a cable into the nuclear instrument module, where they are converted into digital pulses to be read by the computer. Higher energy gamma rays will register further to the right on the screen. We have here a Geiger Weller detector, otherwise known as a Geiger counter. It is capable of reading all kinds of radiation, including beta and alpha particles. However, instead of telling us the energy of the particles, it tells us the rate of detection. Brian is telling us that he is putting a cobalt 60 check source on the detector. We instantly see two discrete peaks climb quickly. The other tall line is just the cursor, and we will see it move in a minute. Notice the continuum of lower energy pulses and builds up to the left. These are gamma rays that have scattered and slowed down before being detected. Cobalt 60 is known to emit two gamma rays, one at 1.332 mega electron volts, and another at 1.173 mega electron volts. Those peaks are precisely what you are looking at now. Now we will place salt substitute on the detector. It is made of potassium chloride instead of sodium chloride. Natural potassium contains about 100% of potassium-40, which is radioactive, emitting a 1.46 mega electron volt gamma ray. It appears in the center of the screen. Notice that we have zoomed in to see this very low level of radiation. As the cursor tells us, the peak is at 1.46 mega electron volts. Next up is a lantern mantle for your camping lantern. This particular one is made with thorium. They don't sell them like this anymore, and perhaps you'll see why. He places a mantle on the detector, and watch now as the radiation registers quickly. Thorium has a 9 nuclein decay chain before it reaches stability, and all of the daughters are radioactive. One particular one, thallium-208, emits a 2.6 mega electron volt gamma ray, which is visible at the far right of the screen. Now we take the sources over to the Geigen Weller tube. Here's the Cobalt 60 check source again. Now a bit of natural uranium mineral. the thorium mantle. A standard smoke detector. Fiesta Ware orange plate. 